And, and Michael also asked the question, will FSD beta come to Europe within UNEC limitations? What is your opinion? So I'll let you go first, Alex. I don't see that coming. I mean, I would love to really, I'm, I'm really going down to my knees and tell me what I need to do really to get it through. But I don't, I don't right now, uh, what, from what I know from the committee and the regulators and how they work and how they think, obviously, because if you just think about their scenario based approach, then they have no understanding about what really Tesla is doing here. And, um, Based that they are not really looking into data right now and they are not willing to do that. And if I add the liability issues here in Europe, uh -huh. I just I just don't see it. I hope I hope to be wrong. I mean, please, please, yeah. I would be happy to be wrong here and that something is happening. I don't know and I have no clue about and all of a sudden this is moving ahead. That would be awesome. But right now I'm, I'm very skeptical. Yeah, now I do think there is still the, the whole process of uh, continuous improvement and I do think that we will continue to get some features. So the question is, what is FSD beta within current regulations? And a couple of months ago, I actually made a video about that, so you can check that out on my channel as well, uh, about what we can expect from FSD beta based on what we are seeing. Uh, but if you consider, for example, the regulation where you can only use the auto lane change on basically highways, it's roads with at least two lanes in each direction with a divider in the middle and where pedestrians and cyclists do not have access to. That is actually the definition of where you can use the auto lane change. So that is that excludes basically all local roads. So FSD beta driving around in city streets uh, changing lanes even to to merge into a lane that you need to go into turn uh, that is not even possible but assume that we can still do that um, for example with uh, manual uh, lane changes so we just hit the blinker and, and it will actually uh, still do that the gaps that we still need uh, to, to do those lane changes they are so large that it becomes nearly impossible. So the FSD beta that we see in the US is uh, never going to come in this form under the current UN ECE regulations to Europe. I do hope that we will get uh, more features and we get some kind of fork from that uh, specific FSD beta within the limitations because the way it navigates around cars, around debris on the road, the way it uh, makes makes room for for uh, cyclists to go around them. Currently, we're just stuck behind them, and the car is not going around them automatically. Uh, so those are improvements that would be possible within the current UNEC regulations. And I hope that Tesla finds some way to make a European build or a UNEC build um, that will allow yeah. those things. We have to we have to realize that the resources Tesla works with are limited. So yeah. Andre's team is not unlimited in terms of what they can do, in terms of people, in terms of hardware, and in terms of smart brains. Let's put it like that. No, so, I, I agree. But on the other hand, uh, as some of, of, of the people uh, online commented, we paid for it. So we should be getting something that yeah. is or as much as possible that is possible within the regulations that we get well to everybody who's saying hey i paid for it my answer is yes but the problem is not tesla the problem are the regulators and that brings me back to what has been told to me and i would hey, like Graham, to come thanks this. for the super chat man really appreciate it thank you and and that's something i would like to convey to everybody here which has been told me Really, everybody of you guys who is annoyed about the situation, please realize that the bigger problem are the regulators and not Tesla in terms of providing this. Uh, 